Hi viewers, I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina. Today's episode is an entertainment and humorous episode that comments on the humor or ideas that many foreigner men have about the Filipina. The humor or mindset that we are weak performers in bed and cannot handle the size of a foreign man. That's on a case-by-case -case basis because if we don't have experience, we are ready to learn and our size matches your size, but not the air pocket you endure in your country. We are known for our resiliency and that comes from many trials and tribulations. It's also part of our culture. I'm going to give you 12 reasons why a Filipina cannot be outperformed or will not be intimidated by a foreigner or his performance, size, or lack thereof. Number one, we are traditional women and ensuring that our companion or husband is totally satisfied physically and emotionally are part of the tradition. If we perform poorly, it's only a reflection of your lack of adventurism. Number two, we are accustomed to extreme humidity, sweat, and walking long distance. Therefore, our bodies don't tire easily and our energy is consistent. If you can't go the distance or don't make the final bill, you might try Viagra or Chalice. Number three, we are extremely flexible, adaptable, reactive, and responsive. We can bend and flex in areas you don't dare to venture. Number four, we match physical intimacy, aggression, and prowess with synergy, effort, and energy. We don't need energy pills or drinks you do. Number five, size does not matter because our mind is focused on the act and its fluidity, not the wed or length, love, bonding, affection, and emotions is the focus. Size is a man's concern, not an ultimate Filipina worry. Number six, we are easily aroused if we are in love or desire our companion. We can enjoy a round after round after round with no loss of productivity. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Number seven, unlike some foreign women, our will does not run dry after a few laps around the truck. We drip and drip and drip and drip. It's endless dripping. Number eight, foreigners normally find that they have beaten of more than they can chew and fix sleep, back pain, or tiredness to avoid total defeat. Just throw in the towel. Nothing wrong with failure. At least you tried. Number nine, Filipina asks you how you feel instead of the man normally asking that question. That's because you are too tired to speak. Number 10, Filipina can adjust to partner's fantasy, wishes, or desire with fortitude and aptitude. We are responsive and effective. Number 11, Filipinas can get up, cook breakfast or dinner, clean the house, wash the laundry, take shower, and recall you to action without skipping a bit. We only get tired because your heart rate is worrisome. Number 12. Foreigners often brag to friends about how the Filipina was beat down, while hiding the fact that they called time out because of respiratory problems. If you have asthma, erectile dysfunction, or diabetes, we can adjust intensity to your level. Don't come to the Philippines thinking of victory after victory and conquering Filipina. You will end up on respiratory resuscitation for life. My advice is to seek an ultimate Filipina. We are trained caregivers. I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina, wishing you an ultimate day, an ultimate life in the Philippines. 
Take care. Bye.